There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? <laughs> and you will find. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, Omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. <sighs> no way. 
Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone, but the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore, so we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, 
and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy, and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. <laughs> 